Hey you guys, it is Claire. Welcome back to XOXO Clarina. Today I'm going to be making a vision board, which is very, very exciting. It's not something that I've done before, but something that I've always wanted to do. We're going to hop right into that. I'm going to have a voiceover over the video so you can see everything I do, the craft supplies, just the fun stuff that I use. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you like it. It would make me a very, very happy girl. And without further ado, we're just going to jump straight into the tutorial. All right, I'm starting with a bunch of magazines. Super old. They're literally from 2014. These are just going to be helpful when I'm cutting out things, looking for words, etc. Things you're going to need for this project are scissors and glue. Another thing you're going to need is something to put your vision on. So a paper, a board, a frame. Optional items are gems, pens, washi tape, stickers, anything to decorate with. And I'm just gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna pick a magazine. Let's take a minute to look at this old picture of Shane and Joey. And then I'm just cutting out things that speak to me, things that I think I could use for my vision, things that I want to be on my board that remind me to do things. And then I'm just gonna take all of those awesome things I cut out and glue them on. And this is just something I think is really, really awesome. It's a creative process. It's making you think deeply about these things that you want while you're making it. And it's making a really cute, beautiful place that you can look at every single day to remind you of your goals, of your passions, the things that you want to accomplish. And vision boards have been proven to be very, very successful. So that's another really big plus. Um, I just decorated mine with doodles, glitter, washi tape, everything you could think of. And this is how mine came out. Alright, so what's the deal with a vision board? I saw a quote that I really resonated with, I feel like really relates to the idea of a vision board, to the ideals of what a vision board is and supposed to be doing for you. And the quote is by Buddha and it goes like this. What you think, you attract. What you feel, you become. And what you imagine, you create. So the idea of a vision board is the law of attraction. If you've never heard of that, um, there's tons and tons of videos about it. I'll find one and I'll link it below or try to do a tag up here if I remember to when I'm actually uploading this video. But the law of attraction basically goes, the way that it relates to vision boards is you create this board with goals on it, with things that you want to see yourself doing, things you want to accomplish, things that you want to do, to feel. And the idea of a vision board is that you look at it every single day. So you make this board, you can make it gigantic, small, I put mine on a tiny piece of paper. You hang it up somewhere where you're gonna see it every day, and every time you look at it, you try to look at all the parts of it. And the law of attraction basically states that as you're staring at these things and you're looking at your goals every day, it's going to attract those things to you. And this works because you're gonna see them in the real world more. I'm going to have more ideas about YouTube probably when I'm walking around because I'm reminding myself every single day, YouTube, consistency, ideas, quality, and quantity, these things that I have on my board and I'm gonna be looking around, doing, going through my normal day, but the law of attraction attracts these things to me. And it's not magic. I'm not actually attracting things revolving around YouTube or video ideas that weren't there before. It's me noticing them. So. I'm thinking these thoughts and these thoughts are becoming what I'm seeing because I'm noticing them more, I'm putting it through my head more and it helps me to motivate myself to do more and to see it more often. And then that last part of the Buddha quote says what you imagine you create. If you're thinking about these things constantly, you're going to have more ideas. You're going to have more imaginative ideas running through your head so you're going to be able to create those, to manifest those things into your life. And this doesn't have to be just a creator's thing. I did mine for YouTube. You can do this for weight loss goals. It's one thing that a lot of people use vision boards for. You can do this for school, for your grades, reminding yourself to stay on top of things. You can do this, a vision board about staying on top of your planner and making sure that you keep stuff there. And I made mine uh, revolving around YouTube because I've really been kind of down about the whole YouTube thing lately like it's been really hard to have my channel grow I feel like nobody cares about my videos sometimes but you just got to keep pushing because I'm not doing this for other people I'm doing it because it's my passion that's why I put ace your passion in the middle of my board you can do a vision board about any goal thing that you want to accomplish in your life I've seen tons and tons of videos about people who have had huge success with vision boards being able to see those things every day really affect their lives 
I just barely made mine so I'm not really totally sure like how exactly it affects me one thing that I've noticed is just looking at it motivates me more because I'm like in that moment when I was making that board I really wanted to accomplish these things so I need to not lose sight of that goal and continue having that mindset of wanting to accomplish those things. One thing I wanted to do with you really quick is just take you through my board and explain why I put the things on it that I did. Here's my background, but at the top I put loved because above all else, I'm loved. My YouTube is not my life. Like it's something I really love to do, but I need to remember that there's important people in my life that matter a lot more and I don't need to be focusing on that other stuff when this is more important. Um, it pays off to be yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory. I don't want to lose myself in the process of making videos and trying to become someone. I just want to be who I am and I don't care like, you know, what people are going to think about that. If that's not who they like, then that just like sucks for them. <laughs> Ace your passion is right in the smack dab middle because that is what I'm trying to do. I want to ace my passion. I want to do it well. Consistency, self-explanatory. I want to post consistently, keep uploading content, and be able to really see on top of my game. In this like middle portion right here, I put a bunch of successful women, and this these are old magazines, so they're not like the newest pictures, but we've got Lee Michelle, My Life is Ava, Ariana Grande, um, Bethany Moda, that's a throwback, used to watch her videos like literally every day, Michelle Fawn, and I just think that these are really successful women, and I want to be a successful woman. Up here I've got this uh, little square and it says only on YouTube just like because I want to focus on YouTube and these arrows are the things that I'm going to utilize to make this dream a reality. I utilize my Instagram channels, I put effort in, I put time into making my videos and making them great and that's just a reminder of the things and the work that I need to put in. At the bottom I have quality quantity and this is not say over it says and so I don't just want to have quality videos I don't want to just have a lot of videos I want to have both and you can't always do that you can't always find a balance but you can try your best over here I have confidence with some doodles and that's because when you're making videos and recording yourself all the time and you're watching videos of people all the time you start to compare yourself to people and this is a really old um, project from 17 called the body piece product project and I just thought that I'd put that there to remind myself that I should be at peace with my body I don't need to compare myself to other people to other youtubers I just need to be confident in my ability and what I want to do with my life so yeah that is my finished little board and why everything if you have there. any questions about the things I've discussed about my long rant that I talked about the law of attraction and etc etc Buddha quotes just leave a comment down below. I love to talk to you guys. I love it when people comment on my videos and I'm able to have conversations with you. That is my favorite thing. And yeah, I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful day. Subscribe if you haven't already. I promise that you won't regret it. Give this video a like if you liked it. And I'll see you next time.